So out of these four greatest women of mankind, are there is there one in particular that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favours more so? That the Prophet would have narrated, you are the chieftain of the women of heavens? Well, I, I would say if you're looking in her time, then Maryam, the mother of Jesus, was without a doubt, according to the Quran, in her time, say that Nisa al Alameen. Because many times people say to me that when it says, when it says this, many times people ask me that clearly it shows that Maryam, the mother of Jesus, is the greatest woman to have ever lived in the history of humanity according to the religion of Islam. Because we know Mary in, uh, in the Quran is mentioned more than Mary is mentioned in the Bible. Yes. And Mary has a whole chapter after her in the Holy Quran. Mm. And in chapter 3, verse 42, the angels say, Oh Mary, God's chosen you, purified you, chosen you to also be the greatest of the woman of your time. Now here's the point. Maryam was the greatest of the woman of her time. No one can deny that. While she was living, there was no one greater. Hamza was the master of the martyrs when he was living. Mm. That doesn't mean that the accolade remains with them forever. There may be someone else Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses later on who takes that accolade. If I were to ask you, Hamza was Sayyid al-Shuhada? Yes, he was. When he died in the Battle of Uhud. When Karbala happened, who became Sayyid al-Shuhada? Abu Abdullah. Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam. Maryam was the Sayyid al Alameen when Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam came. All the attributes Allah has given Maryam given to Fatima alayhi salam. If the angel Jibra'il spoke to Maryam, he also spoke to Fatima. Both of them are what are known. A muhaddatha is the one who the angel has spoken to. Has spoken to. Muhaddath may be the male who an angel communicates with. Not with revelation, mind you. Yes, Rasulullah receives revelation from an angel. If the Imams of Ahlul Bayt speak to an angel, that's not revelation. But they are muhaddath and likewise Fatima Zahra. Like Maryam Allah when he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the angels make it clear, inna Allah has tafaki wa tahharaki. God has chosen you and purified you. Purification here is mentioned as quite a general purification. With Fatima Zahra alayhi salam, it's not a inna Allah has tafaki wa tahraki, inna ma yureed. There's a complete difference in the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses this thorough purification of Al Muhammad. That everything imaginable that we can ever think of in terms of impurity, Allah says, don't even imagine it with Al Muhammad. Mm. It wasn't just a, say, a case of inna Allah has tafa Adam, yes. We've read that in the Quran. In Allah Astafa Nuh, we've read that in the Quran. In Allah Astafa Al Ibrahim, we've read that in the Quran. With Ayat al Tatheer, in the Ma'ayyur of Allah, Yusuf Ankum Rizq Ahlul Bayt, wa Tahirakum Tatheera, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has gone even to an extent, even the Arabic of the In Nama at the beginning to try and highlight that there's a particular point that is being given towards Al Muhammad. There's a particular grace that's being given towards them, and there's a thorough purification, and that all impurities can never reach Al Muhammad. Salawatullah wa salam alayhima. The discussion of the purity of Fatima and Ali and Hassan and Hussein with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is completely different to the discussion of the purity of Fatima and Zahra of Sayyidah Maryam alayhi salam. Fatima and Zahra, there's a narration where Imam al Sadiq mentions that when Fatima and Zahra alayhi salam discusses her position as Sayyidah Nisa al Alameen, she asks, but Maryam was Sayyidah Nisa al Alameen, and the reply that comes to her is, but you are. Said in the I mean, for the first and the last of all the women, mm. this world and the hereafter. So we don't deny that Maryam السلام, had an impeccable position as per Surah 3, verse 42, and the famous ayah of her being chosen by Allah. But when Fatima Zahra comes, you find that she is seen as being the highest of the figures, the greatest of the women. And this is attested to in all the schools of the religion of Islam. SubhanAllah. <laughs>